Welcome back to a new video. In this video, we are going to create an AI resume creator tool using Langchain and Python. Let's start coding. So I am in VS Code right now, but you can use any code editor that you want. I'm going to start by creating a Jupyter Notebook. Since I want to go cell by cell and explain everything step by step in this video, I will say AI resume creator.ipymb like this. And here is my notebook. I'm going to select kernel Python 3.11.4 and what I'm going to do at the first place is I'm going to start by importing Langchain and I want to show you my Langchain version at the start because sometimes libraries can change libraries can get updated and the codes are or codes working behind them can change and if a method changes with libraries version like think like we are using Langchain 1 and it's updated to Langchain 2 and I have this Langchain 1 in the tutorial then if you are going to run that Langchain 1 codes in Langchain 2 maybe they can be depreciated or removed so for making sure on that I'm going to say Langchain version and this is the Langchain version that I'm using after this I missed one yeah it's 0 0.2.12 like also, I can show you from there. It's 0 to 12. So, how you can install this version is you can say pip install langchain 2.0.0.2.12 or pip3 install for Mac langchain 0.2.12. You can install it by entering this in the terminal and you are going to have the same version of langchain with me. So, we can start. I'm going to start with imports. So we are going to import large language model chain from chains. Import large language model chain. And then I'm going to import OpenAI from Langchain LLMs. And then I'm going to import prompt template from Langchain prompts. Also for setting my API key, I will import this. So we are going to be creating a resume creator. It's going to take a prompt like I'm going to describe my knowledge and it's going to create a resume for me. Our next step is going to be setting the OpenAI API key. I will say operating system environment and I will say OpenAI API key and I'm going to set my API key like this. It starts with SK. I'm not going to give you my API key, but you can get your own easily from the OpenAI API Playground website. Just type API Playground to the Google and it's going to navigate you to the OpenAI's website. When you create a new account, they gift you $5. So this video will cost, I think, around 30 or 40 cents. I don't think it's going to cost more, but you can even use the free credits that you get from OpenAI and you can create the API key for free. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to enter my API key in here then I'm going to run the cell then I'm going to be re-recording. So let's do that. Okay great. So as the next step we are going to create a prompt template. We are going to define a prompt template to guide the language model in creating a resume. The prompt template will include sections commonly found in resumes such as personal information, education, work experience, and skills. So we will say prompt template is going to be prompt template. We will say input variables. And we are going to set like user description. And template is going to be, let's write it like, we are going to write it with our hands, like create a professional resume based on the following information and we are going to give the user description dynamically in here and next we will say the resume should include the following sections so we will say personal information and summary education work experience and skills 
and this is going to be our prompt template so we say create a professional resume based on the following information we will give user description the prompt in here and we want embed personal information summary education work experience and skills sections okay so i'm going to make this run then we are going to initialize the language model that we are going to use i will say large language model and i will say open ai like this and I don't want to see any kind of depreciation warnings, they are not important. So I will say import warnings and then I will say warnings.filter warnings and I will say ignore like this. And when I make it run and run this code again, it's going to work out smoothly. So we can filter them out since they are useless. Now we will create a chain that combines the language model with our prompt template. This chain will take the user's input and generate a resume based on the template so we will say resume chain and it's going to be large language model chain large language model is going to be LLM and prompt is going to be the prompt template we defined I checked for its name and here it is so next we will create a function that takes a user description as input runs it through the language model chain and returns the generated resume so for that we will say define generate resume and we are going to give user description inside of this and then we will say resume is going to be resume that resume chain that run and we are going to give user description like this and then we are going to return the resume great so we are ready now we can test our resume creator too so let's give us something like prompt is going to be let's say we are going to say i am let's give an example name like john i am working as a data engineer for two years two years at abc company and one year at this def country company i'm sorry and then let's say like I used SQL, Python, and cloud services mostly in my jobs. I was responsible for creating data pipelines in ABC company, and I was responsible for checking the data quality at DEF company and also and now I'm going to say I have bachelor's degree from University X from computer on computer science also let's say that also as a additional information I am 32 years old. Okay, this is going to be our testing prompt. So let me read what I wrote. I forgot the starting point. I am John. I'm working as a data engineer for two years, two years at ABC company and one year at DEF company. I used SQL, Python and closed services mostly in my jobs. I was responsible for creating data pipelines in ABC company and I was responsible for checking the data quality at DEF company. I have bachelor's degree from University X on computer science and also as additional information I am 32 years old. Okay, we will say resume is going to be generate resume function we defined and we will say prompt like this. And now when we get our resume we can print it like this. And here is our resume template. So we have John Smith, data engineer. By the way, since we didn't give any kind of surname, it just created randomly. Let's regenerate this response for if it's going to change the surname. I'm curious. Yeah, it changed the prompt template too also. Okay, let's read it out. Personal information. Name John, age 33. It gives an example email. You can pass that. Like if you pass the email, it's going to 100% include in this. But we are getting a template. Like you can just copy this to a Word document and 100% you need to modify this so you can modify it and we have phone address information summary highly skilled and experienced data engineer 
with three years of experience in creating data pipelines and ensuring data quality, proficient in SQL, Python, and cloud services, bachelor's degree in computer science from University X, proven track record of delivering efficient and effective data solutions in a fast-paced environment. So we have the education information in here and work info information in here, like it define some example descriptions for the work if you give them a prompt it's going to create these descriptions based on that and improve your sentences for sure and data quality analyst df company and it says this experience okay so let's regenerate if you're foreseeing if you are going to get different thing yeah again we get something else and as we can see since we don't pass the dates or exact job responsibilities it's just estimating them but we are getting a really good resume template which can be copied into word document and be modified and get used because sentences are powerful it represents our information and let's try it one more time like i'm going to set prompt like let's say i am a recent graduate from let's say University of Ankara. I'm going to give you an example. It's the capital city of Turkey. I graduated from logistics. I don't know universities have a department like that, but I'm going to say that. And I want to work as a logistics assistant specialist. So specialist, I know Excel and I know two languages which are Turkish and English. So we can continue like, let's give a surname this time. So I will say, my name is, and let's say like Jack. I, I only remember of Jack London, okay, so I'm going to say Jack London. My name is Jack London and I am and my email is jack.london.gmail.com Okay, so let me see what else we can give. Okay, I took courses such as using Excel for logistics I'm not going to talk about the courses so I'm going to say my phone number is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten let's say one instead of ten and what else we can say I'm thinking I think it's enough let's test it like this so resume is going to be generate resume and we are going to give this name prompt and I will say print resume and here it is so languages Jack London email Jack London at gmail.com the email that we gave the phone that we gave so we saw that they are working successfully if we give them so some recent graduate from University of Ankara with a degree in logistics okay looking for a position as a logistic assistant specialist proficient in excel and fluent in turkish and english strong organizational problem solving and communication skills oh it's doing a really good job so we can see university of ankara turkey supply chain management or it even generates courses we didn't give any courses right yeah we didn't give any courses but it generates it like international trade etc it's just creates work experience templates and it gives skills so it's working smoothly let's talk about what we did in this video let's summarize it and then we can finish since our tool is working perfectly we import Langchain. we check its version like its version is 0 to 12 i showed you how we can install that we import llm chain open ai and prompt template we enter our api key and we create a prompt template such as create a professional resume based on this and I want these sections in the resume and then we initialized our language model then 
we created our chain and in a function we run our chain with getting user description we are using it in here it's a, in a dynamic type and we are passing it with this chain run function we have then we tried what we created and we saw that it's working really good and that was all for this videos coding part thank you thanks for watching this tutorial i'm sharing new data science videos every week you can subscribe for more videos like this i have a playlist of ai and length chain videos you can check that playlist for similar videos i'm going to be adding the playlist link in the description of this video also in the cards of this video have a great day